Hi, my name is Patrick. This is solution for the CAT 2021 con question slot 3. So let's look at different approaches of how to solve things fast. Okay, now this sum, this is two equations, but there is a mod sign which takes it and mod signs about x and y. Technically, when you're solving it, it becomes four cases. I mean, case one becomes x positive, y positive. Same way, case two will become x negative, y positive. Case three will become x positive, y negative, and case four will become x negative, y negative. But to take each of the four cases and solve takes a longer time to solve. So if you, are, if you feel you have ample time to solve, you can use this. Else shortlist. Now there are two approaches to solve it. Okay. Uh, let's take the first approach. Now I'm taking the second equation because one is there, so it's easy to substitute values and try to get the answer. Now if by chance x is negative in the second equation, always take the equation which is easier to solve. So by chance x is negative, if I take x negative, I'm just assuming, okay, then minus x plus x will get cancelled. So x plus x mod x will become 0. So which means 3y will be 1 or y you will get 1 by 3. The moment you get y 1 by 3 and substitute out here on the right side, what do you get is 3x plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 equal to 7 or you get 3x is equal to 7 minus 1 6 or x equal to 2. But x is positive but we assume x negative. That means the assumption is wrong. That means x has to be positive. If x has to be positive, again we go to first equation, it becomes 2x plus 3y equal to 1. If it is 2x plus 3y equal to 1, x is positive, how do I get 1? Just put some simple values. So I look at 2 into if I take x plus 2 and if I take y minus 1, I will get 1. Simple values. Substitute in the first equation, I will realize that 3 into 2, x is positive, plus 2 into minus 1 plus minus 1 if you look at this becomes 6 uh, this becomes 2 okay and this becomes minus 1 it becomes 7 satisfies since it satisfies our values are true that when x is 2 y is minus 1 overall you get 0 which is a option right this is the first method where you assume values and try to solve it will become easy second is instead of taking all the four cases try to find what can be the case now if you look at in the second case, the value is small. First case, the value is large. The only reason it could be if because uh, here there is some negative which is gone, whereas here is more or less positive, which means I would say that um, X is positive out here and Y is negative. Because Y negative Y, 2Y and Y will become positive because Y is negative, mod Y will become positive the overall value will become big and x positive will cancel with x okay x positive okay and y negative so xx x, there will be minus 3y and because of that minus 3y you will get a small answer so we can always start with y negative and x positive then only you will get small value for the second equation and large value for the first equation substitute then 3x minus 2y because y is negative Okay, sorry, uh, y is negative. So when you open the bracket, y becomes minus y. Okay, and plus y equal to 7. This will give you an equation of 3x minus y okay, equal to 7. First equation, since x is positive, it becomes 2x plus 3y equal to 1. So solve this simultaneously. Say multiply the equation, the first equation by 3. You will get 9x minus 3y equal to 21 subtract so you will get 7x equal to if i subtract it right you will get sorry add it to cancel y if you add it you get 11x equal to 22 so you will get x is equal to 2 once you get x equal to 2 substitute any one of the equation say first equation 2 into 2 plus 3y equal to 1 okay 3y equal to minus 3 you will get y equal to minus 1 from this 2 you will get that x plus 2y which is 2 plus 2 into minus 1 will give you 0. Right? So either you take all the four cases and solve or shortlist the case based on how the equation is or put simple values and see which values satisfy. Based on that you can maybe get the answer. In 
tournament, a team has played 40 matches so far and won 30 percent. We have used allegation one of the previous sums. Again, here we can use allegation where you are mixing 30 percent and 60 percent to get 50 percent. Be comfortable with allegation. So here you get 10 percent, you get 20 percent, which is one to two ratio. We know this, this is 40 matches. That means new matches is 80. The old match is 40, so new match is 80. 90 percent winning chance, winning, which is 72 matches. Here only 30 percent have won, 12. So total matches won is 84. Straight away we get the answer. Just allegation. From that you will get how many matches are played new, which is 80. 90 percent of the new matches are won, and 30 percent of old matches are won. Total matches won will become 84. A shop owner bought 64 shirts. Total how much he paid? 5,000 and 1,800. He paid 6,800 for the 64 shirts. So it's slightly more than 100. Okay, which means on an average is 100. Now the small shirt was 50 less than a large shirt. So technically, large shirt should be more than 100, and small shirt should be less than 100. Right? Okay, small sh large shirt should be more than 100. Small shirt should be less than 100. So totally, it should be around. You can say uh, you know, 175 or 200 around that. Okay, totally should be around 175 200 because average the cost is around 100 or more than 100. So let's take 200 is the easiest thing to calculate, right? If I take 50 rupees less, so I take 50 rupees separate, remaining is 150, 75 and 75 for small shirt and large shirt. That means small shirt will be 75 rupees, large shirt will be 75 plus this 50, 125. Okay, I am substituting 200 because I understood that the price will be around 200 because 1 is more than 100, 1 is less than 100. So automatically because average is slightly more than 100. So now check out. So how many small shirts and large shirts you bought? The large shirts you bought is 5000 upon 125. Okay, which is 40. Small shirt you bought is 1800 upon 75. Right, which becomes 24. So total if you look at it becomes 64 shirts satisfies, which means 200 is the answer. You could obviously formulate an equation and solve, but putting values and substituting values sometimes becomes easy. I mean, short is the option which are possible and try to work on which is possible, which is not. You can obviously work on saying that let the number of uh, large shirts be L, number of small shirts will be 64 minus L, and then multiply with the price and then try to look at price 1 is x, 1 is x minus 50. And then you will get total prices 5,000 and 1,800. You can substitute and check out. Okay, consider a sequence of real numbers. Now I know x1, and every time I add the next step, x2, I'm adding. What did I become? x1, I'm adding plus 1 minus 1. x3, I'm adding x2, I'm adding plus 2 minus 1. So what I'm adding is I'm adding plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So up to x100. I will be adding x99 plus 99 minus 1. So I will be adding plus 1 plus 2 up to plus 99, which is AP 1, I mean 1 to 99 sum is 99 into 100, n into n plus 1 upon 2 formula. Okay, so 99 into 50, which comes to 4950. Apart from that, you have 99 minus 1s and initial minus 1. So initial minus 1 and 99 minus 1s. This will give you minus 100. So overall it becomes 4850. That's the answer. So again I repeat, initially you have minus 1. Then you are adding 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 99. So plus, uh, that is 99 into 100 upon 2. And then you have minus 1 99 times. So minus 99. If you do this, you get 4850. Clear? A tea shop offers tea in cups of 3 sizes. The product of the prices is 800. So we have ratio of the smallest and medium is 2 and 5. 2 5 are 10, the largest will become 80. Too big a difference in price to be the case. Possible, I am not saying no, but too big a one. So we could next case. Let's say 4 and 10. The ratio is 2 and 5, so it can be 4 and 10, 40. Largest will be 20. Yes, this is possible. If this is possible, I am adding 6 and 6 because total has to be 800 like right? multiplication has to be 800 the balancing figure here is 80 multiplication has to be 800 the balance has to be 20 because 4 tens are 40 800 divided by 40 is 20 
If I add 6, add 6, this becomes 10 into 16 into 20, becomes 3200, satisfies. So sum of the original prices will become 4 plus 10 plus 20, which is 34. That's the answer. I mean, you could have substituted the first one, but by looking at the numbers, you can make out that the last size will be not very big and medium will be not very small. Last size is slightly bigger than a medium size. So 4, 10, 20 is the most probable answer, but there's no harm in checking for 2, 5, 80 and then checking for 4, 10, 20. It will not take much time. But yes, putting values and trying it out will become much faster to solve to get the answer. Hope that's clear. Thank you.